relationship through those three albums. Michael had the respect, you know, to let me do what I know how to do, and I let him do what he knew how to do. You know, that's that's very important, you know, mm -hmm. because sometimes you come up with an artist that has their own idea about something they don't even understand. We were doing um, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. And I said, okay, Michael, we got that. That's high, and we have double it and everything else. Now I want you to sing a comment to that accoutrement really low, you know. And he kind of resisted in the beginning. I said, no, come on, let's try it, you know. And he resisted at first, you know, and then he, he got into it, and it, it, he started to understand what we were trying to do is get that contrast, you know, and get a conversational, very personal uh, uh, comment on top of it, you know. But a, a, a lot of that, see, because Michael was only there for a couple of songs, so when we did that album, he did oh, really? uh, Working Day and Night and, and Don't Stop to Get Enough, and I asked him to write lyrics to Get On The Floor, which is a Brother Johnson song. And the rest of it we did, uh, uh, you know, the, the tracks and stuff while he was away. He wasn't even there when we did Rock With You and Off The Wall and stuff like that. But Rod came in from New York, and we had to change the key from... Uh, uh, C minor to E flat minor, or vice versa. You know, I, I, I must say, you know, during that time, I was just telling him what to do. You know, because we had never worked together before. Right. And after recording that much, you know, shake your body. You made a lot of records, man. We might as well go a different way. You know. Right. And so we we, we just told him what to do. That's all. And that kind of became what was his intense sound. Yeah, yeah, and and it, and it worked. But so by the time we got the Thriller. You know, he, he didn't know what we were doing on Thriller in the beginning. Cause they, they weren't there. Nobody was there. Because right. uh, we, we took a lot of chances there. You know, you get you get Vincent Price, man. <laughs> and uh, on the way to the studio, I called Rod. I said, man, maybe just write another couple of, uh, 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 write some more words out, you know. So he wrote that stuff in the taxi cab on the way to the studio. Wow. You know, 40 years of funk and stuff. Brilliant stuff, that Edgar Allan Poe stuff, you know. Right. And no, and, and it's a funny thing, when the record first came out, people didn't get Thriller. They didn't get it, the, the record came out in November, December, something like that. They didn't get it till June 84, when we did the video. Hmm. Even the Black Chocks, they did not understand what it was about, you know. And when they saw that video and all those monsters and all that stuff, that it was just like took off and the record was selling a million seven a week, man, you know, wow. uh, because they didn't understand the concept. They might have done anything like that before, you know. It was really crazy, <laughs> but uh, it was fun. Yeah, very cool. Uh, tell me about the contract negotiations when you started off the wall and how that all went down. I got thirty thousand dollars for that whole album. Wow, off the wall and through it. Amazing. I said, I'll see you on the other side. You did all right in points then. No problem. <laughs>